Hey everyone, this is Sean from Gen4 Technology, and today I'm going to be giving you a quick rundown on how you can add two different types of IP cameras to the Flux Series MVR. We're going to be working with Flux cameras, of course, and Uniview cameras. So this leads us to part one of the video, where we'll walk you through how to pre-configure your IP cameras before adding them to the Flux MVR. In pre-configuring our cameras, we're going to need the following hardware. Uh, you can either work with a PoE switch, a PoE injector, or a 12 volt power supply with a Cat5, Cat6 patch cable. Uh, we're also going to need a PC or laptop so we can connect directly to the cameras and adjust them accordingly. Software wise, we're going to need to go ahead and download the Flux IP tool for our Flux IP cameras. And if we're working with Uniview cameras, we're going to have to download the Uniview Easy tools. So let's go ahead and start it off with the pre-configuring of a Flux IP camera. Step one is going to be to go ahead and hook your camera up to your network. And once it's hooked up, we're going to navigate over to our PC or laptop and open up the Flux IP tool application. Uh, once that is open, you're going to select the immediate refresh option at the top of the program and then select your Flux IP camera. Fill in your camera's password on the right hand side and then adjust the IP address, subnet, and gateway to match your NVR's IP scheme. Once complete, select modify to save and then go ahead and select the immediate refresh button one more time just to make sure that change took place. Next we're going to go ahead and run through the pre-configuring of a Uniview camera. So let's go ahead and hook up our Uniview IP camera and then navigate back to our PC and open up the Easy Tools application. Once the camera is found within the Easy Tools, go ahead and select the Internet Explorer icon next to your camera. This will pull up the login screen to our Uniview camera in which we'll fill in our username and password to go ahead and log into the camera. Once logged in, go ahead and select the Setup tab, select the Video and Audio option, and then select the Video option. Uh, within the video option, we're going to disable the third stream and then select Save. Once saved, we're going to go to the left-hand column, select the Security tab, and then select the Network Security option. Within Network Security, you'll see multiple options, one being Authentication. Go ahead, select that tab, and then set the RTSP authentication to None. Next, we're going to go back to the left column, select the Register Info tab, and then enable the Hide Vendor Info option. Uh, make sure to select Save once complete as well. And then finally, we're going to go ahead and select the Network tab. Uh, within the Network tab, select the Network option and adjust the IP address, subnet, and gateway to match your MVR's IP scheme. This leads us to part two of the video, in which we'll walk you through how to add your IP camera to a Flux MVR. So let's go ahead and start it off by walking you through how to add a Flux IP camera to the Flux MVR. So first things first, let's go ahead and log into our Flux MVR. Select the plus sign in the grid box you'd like to add your camera to. and then select the tab labeled Quickly Add. Within the Quickly Add section, select your Flux IP camera, and then select the option Add at the bottom right of the screen. Wait a few seconds and you should see your camera populate accordingly. Finally, we're going to walk you through adding a Uniview IP camera to a Flux MVR. Just as the Flux camera, we're going to go ahead and select the plus sign in the grid box you'd like to add the Uniview camera to. Once within the Add Camera section, this time we're going to go to the Add Manually option. Fill in the corresponding information to match your Uniview IP camera. This includes the IP address, port, username, password, and protocol. By default, Uniview's port is set to 80. The username is set to admin, all lowercase. The password set to 123456. And the protocol set to onvif. Once complete, select the test option, and if the test is successful, select the add option. Wait a few seconds and you should see your camera populate accordingly. 
that wraps it up. Thanks for watching, and please like, subscribe, and comment with any videos you'd like to see in the future. Take it easy, and see you next time.